My name is Jim Dunn. I'm a professor at McMaster University, and I do research on housing, neighborhoods, and health. One of the things I'm interested in is change in neighborhoods and how it's going to affect people's health and healthy child development over time. So the way I do my research is that we have a camera system, and it's a 360 camera that's mounted on a vehicle, and we drive the streets of Hamilton collecting video data. That gets processed into a single spherical image that we can project onto a large screen. And we then look at that screen and we quantify the video images to reveal physical disorder like graffiti, um, broken windows, uh, unkempt properties, those sorts of things. And then other kinds of positive attributes which might have a relationship to the likelihood that someone's going to be physically active like green space, trees lining a street, cafes on the street, the setback of buildings, those sorts of things. Right now, we are gathering before images. We know that there's going to be a lot of changes to the streets in Hamilton as there's development, as the LRT line is built, and we know that a lot of community groups are working hard to improve their neighborhoods. So we want to go back and record these same streets, these same trails and alleys a year or two from now to see what's changed. We do a lot of interviews, just questionnaire-based interviews over the telephone, and so we do have a small lab for doing computer-assisted telephone interviewing. And it's a pretty traditional method that's been used in the past, but what we will do with that is we'll have people's postal codes and we'll be able to link their individual information to information about their neighborhoods and then be able to assess the impact of their neighborhoods on health and other kinds of outcomes. The way this data is going to make a difference to people's lives is it's going to focus on the aesthetic aspects of our environments and the visual cues that we get from our environments. This can affect our mood, it can affect our behavior, it can affect our interaction with other people, and these things aren't normally studied scientifically. They're studied more artistically than scientifically, and having this extra quantification to look at what are the specific features that seem to make the biggest difference is going to inform the way we design our cities. Big data is really fascinating because I think it creates the opportunity to ask big questions. Big data alone is actually not all that interesting, but what it does is it may give us the opportunity to push the boundaries further about the kinds of questions we can ask and the kinds of questions we can answer in order to make a better society. McMaster is a great place to ask big questions, and the great thing about it is its proximity to Hamilton, which is a great natural laboratory, and we have a fantastic relationship with people in the city of Hamilton who are eager to use the information that we get out of these big questions and apply it to making for a better city. When they're brought together with members of our community, McMaster's researchers will generate ideas of enormous power, big ideas that can build better cities.